All right, we're back. This is Kevin McCain with Idaho Art Classes and Kevin McCain Studios. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of um, color matching today. So we're going to try to use the concepts of mixing color to try to match some of these different colors. Um, we're going to use the concepts of identifying the, the value and identifying the hue and identifying the, the chroma level. And so let's start with this one right here. This is a green. So the hue is green. The, uh, the value on this is probably about a, between a step four and a step five on the value scale. Probably a step five, but... Uh, and it's got a, a medium intensity. You might say it's medium high, but you know it's not the brightest green. It's not the dullest green. It's, it's somewhere about in the middle. So when we're going to mix a color, so after we've identified the color, we then need to mix it. And, and I'm going to tell you about how we're going to approach it for this class. And we're going to be using the, the easiest method possible. Again, we've got a limited palette. We're just learning how to deal with this stuff called oil paint. Uh, and so, yeah, we want some of those e that easier stuff, right? So whenever we, we are going to mix, we always start with the hue. And so I'm going to start with the green because that's what it is. And you want the brightest hue possible. We can always dull a hue, but you can't, it's hard to make it brighter. So we're going to start with the hue. And so here we go. We've got a green. Now, once we've mixed this, we have to ask ourselves, well, is it the right value? Well, it's not. And is it the right intensity? It's not. But we always start with the hue. So this is the hue. Uh, maybe we'll mix up a little more so it covers the, this entirely. Now that's too yellow. So we're going to put a little blue in there. Back to green. Okay. Now, good gracious, that really ate that up. Try a little bit more. Again, too yellow. Put a little more blue in it. Okay. So, nope, a little bit more. That's not where we were before. That's where we were before. Okay, so we've got this... Uh, We've got this green, okay? So I still think it's a little on the yellow side, so we're gonna try to, because I don't think it's a yellow green. I, I, I mean, it's got, it's got some warmth, but let's start with a sort of a true green, which is about right, about right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift the value. Now we need to darken this. Now this is a green, so we're gonna darken it with a little bit of the blue gray. All right, so this will darken our, our green. All right. Darken a little bit more. Okay, so this is where we're at. Now we're about the same value. The, the biggest difference between this and that and... Um, I'm going to go, when I actually am able to render this, we'll see if we can if we can see this nuance. But this right here has some orange in it. It's a warmer green than this is. This has a little more blue. This has a slight touch of orange. And so what we would do is we don't want to vary the, we don't want to, we don't want to change the, well, we don't want to change the value. Uh, we also, this would be the time if we want to change the intensity. Um, the intensity is just a tiny bit bright, but really what it is, it's going to be a shift uh, into some of this warmer area of green. Still has some blue. We'll add a little bit more. Now, if I keep adding this, it's going to start going gray. So I don't want to really add, I don't want it to go grayer. So I'm going to be careful, I'll hold back on adding that. I might go, hey, if I wanted to keep it a little brighter and not have it go any grayer, what I'll then do is I'll go ahead and, and mix up a bit of orange and add this to it. Okay. All right. Well, that's just about the same color. That right there. Looks like it's got just a tiny bit more yellow. So let me bring just a little bit more yellow in here. Now that I put that right next to it, I can say, hmm, 
a little more yellow. Okay. That's a tiny bit more of that orange. So we're going to have some of this orange in there too. We'll warm it up. And again, this, this stuff hasn't changed the value too much. It takes a lot to change the value. All this was really doing was shifting this green into a much warmer green. And that just means that there was orange in that green, or a little bit, of, there's a little bit of, you know, which means there's a little red, a little yellow. There was orange in there. And so that right there is about the same color as this right here. So that's what we're going to do with each one of these colors. We're going to go ahead and say, okay, what's the value? Uh, you know, what's the, what's the hue? What's the intensity, high, medium, or low? Uh, remember that a high intensity is really bright out of the tube like this. A low intensity is somewhere, you know, like this. And these are, a lot of these, except for maybe this one, are pretty much a medium intensity. Um, but I wanted to clean this up just a little bit. Get that out of the way. Okay. All right, so now we're going to mix this red over here. All right, and so we're going to start with the hue. And we said, well, what is it? Well, it's a red. Okay, no big deal. We're going to start with red. Now, once we've, once we've asked ourselves what the hue is, you know, we certainly have reds, but we have reds that are more, you know, more purple, and we have reds that are more on the orange side of red. So if I look at this, I'm, I look at this, I go, well, this looks to me to be on the orange side of red. So we're going to take, we always want to get the hue first. So right now we're shifting the hue from this red into a orange or red. Okay. So this is starting to feel, and this is almost like a terracotta red or something. The, you know, terracotta is a type of clay. All right, so we're going to start off with this with this red orange. Okay. And so now we've got the hue. Now what's the value? And if I look at these things, the values are pretty close. This is just darker a little bit by maybe half a step of value. So I'm not going to vary the value right now. What I'm going to really focus on is the intensity it needs to, to be lower. Now the value is between these two. So I took a little bit of each one of these grays. I'm going to mix it up over here. Now that has quite a bit of blue in it. Okay, so if, if I'm afraid it's got too much blue, we're going to add a little bit more of the yellow to it to keep it a little on that warmer side because we don't want to go red-violet. And we're going to mix this into that that red. Now it's I mix it and it still went a little on the purple side. So I'm going to a little bit of this yellow. Now it also went a little bit, it's a little bit darker now than this over here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lighter gray because it's also a little bit too bright. So this also, once we did that, it went purple again because there's a, there's a blue in there too. Um, so we're going to grab a little bit more of the yellow. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and use this more of this stuff. I think we need to dull this down. The intensity needs to dull down more. And again, it keeps going purple, so we're gonna add yellow to this to pull it back from out of red violet back over into the red orange side of things. Now this is red. This is almost a true red, so that means we need, but we're close. If we look at this stuff right now, this is, you know, has a little bit more of the red. This has a little more of the orange. So we're going to add again, probably we're going to need, I'm going to need some more yellow, but This is getting closer. This is still just a little bit more, a little bit more yellow is what we need for that color. So I'm going to grab, got some off screen here. All right, just a tiny bit more yellow to this. 
like so. And I guess I didn't do the analysis. This is a, this is a red or red orange is the hue. It's a medium in intensity and the value is about step six on the value scale. So now as we've got this, I think it still has just a tiny bit more yellow to it. I'm surprised how much yellow I'm adding to this, but and I think it needs a dull just slightly still. So we'll just take a little bit of this and then we're going to have to just overcome that. Cause again, that's going to make that pull that to the bluer side a little bit, bring that red, try to you know, pull it, try to pull it to a true red or even a red violet. So I have to be careful with that. And again, pretty close, right? So this is the color we've got. I can even take a little bit of this and put it on there. Uh, this is just slightly redder, uh, just barely, but everything else is, but it's really, really close. So again, if I was one to, to note, to dull it down, we take a little bit of this I mean, probably try to keep a little more on the neutral side. So maybe I'll take a little bit of this too. Um, so we take a little bit of the Brown and a little bit of the blue, mix them together along with some of this to neutralize a little bit more and Now we've neutralized that just a little bit more. And I think, you know, again, we're closer to that intensity. And then to, to deal with the yellow part of this, we'd add just, again, a tiny bit of that yellow just to shift the hue at the very end. And now that's almost an exact match. So again, this is, we keep analyzing what's happening to the color, you know, and so it really helps. Now I'm going to go ahead, we're going to come back, I'm going to put some more yellow out and we'll finish out these other two colors. All right. Be back in a bit. All right, we're back. This is Kevin McCain. All right, we're back. So we're going to go ahead and mix up these last two colors. Now this color right here, again, we have to say what its hue is. Now the hue of this is a, is purple. In fact, it's sort of a blue violet. So we're going to start off with a little bit of violet. We always start off with the hue. Okay. Uh, very little of that red because that red will really take over. In fact, that might have been too much. So we'll start off. Yep. Hit that red out of here. Because it's just so intense. Or I should say it's tenting strength to be proper. So we've got a violet. Now I don't have very much of it because we have to lighten it considerably. So we start off with the hue and then we change the value second. And the value of this thing is maybe a step nine on the value scale. All right, that's going to take a whole lot of white to do that. That's way too much. So I tried to scrape back most of that purple out of there and try to bring in a whole lot of white all right to to change this now it's still just a little bit less a little bit darker not by much but a little bit okay so now i've got the value adjusted now we're going to deal with the intensity now it's a purple so we're going to add the light gray because i don't want to change its i don't want to change its value i just want to change the intensity Plus this has blue in it, so it's going to add blue and it's going to add, you know, it's going to neutralize it and it's going to add a bit of blue as it does it. And let's see where we're at. Now this has got went a little bit lighter and it's still a little bit on the red side. So we're going to take a little bit of blue. That was a little too much to so bring a little more of the red in. Uh, we need to keep it fairly neutral, so I'm going to take a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the orange to neutralize this out. This still seems like it's got a little bit too much blue, so I'm going to bring a little bit more of the, the red in here. There we go. So that's what we've got. Now it might be just a slight bit 
slight bit darker, maybe just, I mean, just like a quarter of a step. We're talking about little tiny bits. So I added just a little bit to this. And now let's see, we put this down, can't even see it. That means that's the exact color. Okay, so what this was, was this was a purple with a low intensity that was about a step nine on the value scale. So again, we have to, if you don't know what you're mixing, there's no way you can mix it. So that's why we talked about in the previous, uh, some of my previous videos, and of course those of you in the class, what we're going to have you do uh, a fun little sign we'll talk about in just a minute. But the, the videos on, on here have talked about how to identify value, how to identify hue, how to how to identify the intensity so that we can answer the question of what is the value, what is the hue, what is the intensity, and then we mix it. But when we mix it, we start with the hue, and then we change the value, and the last thing we change is the intensity. All right? So we got one more here, and we've got, this is a yellow, and it is, it looks like it's sort of a yellow-orange, a slight yellow-orange. So we'll start with the hue. Boom. Yellow. Now, if I said, well, it's a little yellow orange, well, then we take a little bit of red. And you gotta be very little bit of this red. I mean, just a smattering. There's just a scraping on there. Because if not, it'll take over this mixture entirely. I mean, it goes a lot, little goes a long way. So, um, this is just now a little bit yellow orange. And now we need to, to darken it. So, we're gonna darken it with, now it's a yellow, so we're gonna use the brown. So, we're gonna darken it with the brown. Um, okay, so now remember in this puddle, there's, there's red, there's yellow, there's orange, but there's also a tiny bit of blue. So you see how this is casting green now? Well, the easiest way to overcome green, we're going to add a little bit of red that'll pull it from, cause it's gone to, it's gone to yellow green. We want to pull it back across yellow green to yellow to maybe a little yellow orange. And the only way to do that, or the easiest way to do that is to add red. Now, if we had orange, we might add orange because that's closer and it might be a little easier to deal with, but both will get us to the same place. So we add a little bit of that red. Now it still needs more red. So we're gonna bring a little bit more of the red in here. There we go. Now we're, now we're talking and now we're in the ballpark. Um, I'm looking at this, I think it needs to go a little darker. So we're going to bring a little bit more of this into here. And now I think that pulled again, that blue pulled it across the spectrum. It's sort of at a sort of almost a true yellow. And so we're going to make it a little bit more yellow orange. So we're adding just a little bit of that, of that red, like so. Pretty close. Just a little bit more. Um, and she's over getting in trouble. Just a little bit more. But even if it's not the exact color, if it's a yellow that's about this value and then the intensity is off, the most important thing is the value. That is the most important thing. Now we're, I mean, we are really close. If I put this next to it, you know, we can see, hey, that's that's really close. The only thing I might say is still needs, it looks like it seems like it needs a little bit of red. Uh, it needs to go darker by just a scotch. Maybe we'll come down here. Got to be careful with that because we don't want to change the value. If we're not careful, that will really deepen this value very quickly. Bring a little bit of this in. This will darken it just a scotch. It's also going to give a little bit of green to it, so we'll add a little bit of the red to overcome that. And now, and we can take a little bit of this and put it right on there. And it's just, it is just a quarter, maybe a quarter of a step darker. And in fact, the, the camera might not even be able to pick it up. It's so, it's so close. If I need to, I could add just a, the tiniest scotch of white. And we're pretty much there. So again, this is how we're going to match colors. We first start by what is the hue? And we mix the hue. And then we, and modify the hue. We modify this one to be a little bit red orange. Modify this one to be a little yellow orange. Modify this to be a little blue gray. Or, or blue violet, pardon me. You mix the violet, or pardon me, you mix the hue first, and then you change the value, and then the last thing you change is the intensity, right? And so that's what we want to do. And the other part was 
again, so if we remember, we said between orange and green is yellow. So again, if it starts to go green, we can add a little bit of orange. Now, if we didn't have orange, we can reach for red. Red will also pull this yellow back across the color spectrum and it will cross true yellow, yellow orange, yellow orange until you know it could hit it could hit orange if we keep adding the red. But same thing with this red. If we if we had it going to purple, we could again we could add orange to it or or we could add true red to it depending on how far we want to move it. If uh, you know if that if the blue with this blue is going a little too red so we added blue to it. Uh, if we you know so again we can we can shift the 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 hues fairly easily and this is how we want to do it now for those taking my class what I'm going to want you to do is I'm going to want you to mix up at least a good 30 swatches 40 swatches would be better but at least a good 30 swatches and I don't mean little tiny dabs I mean you know, I want you to give me a slice uh, you know now this isn't the full length of my knife but Again, that's a pretty good a big, if it's half that size that's fine which would make it about an inch by almost an inch I don't want to see little dabs okay and I want you to pick out different colors in the room around you or outside or you know what you're wearing or you could even try to match your skin in certain places but mix me up 30 to 40 different colors and identify the color by what is the hue what is the value and what is the intensity okay those three things and then mix it as best you can all right and i can't wait to see again for those of you in the class can't wait to see your stuff um for those of you outside the class keep this in mind try to use it it will help your painting more than anything this has been kevin mccain with kevin mccain studios you folks stay out you stay creative out there have a good evening